Well, after being wrongly convicted of murder, Lamar Johnson will have a new job starting tomorrow. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal is live from Delwood with a look at how Johnson worked his way into a new role, Jeff. That's right, Mandy. He'll be working for the city of Delwood, uh, operating equipment like this street sweeper here. He's joining the Public Works Department after completing a program that has helped thousands of others find jobs. Delwood Mayor Reggie Jones can't imagine what Lamar Johnson endured after being wrongly convicted and spending 28 years behind bars for a murder he did not commit. Man, it, it must have a mental weight on him, but you can't tell. Johnson will start working for the city after completing the Urban League's Save Our Sons and Sisters program. For him getting that offer and knowing that he's about to start what was, was, was life changing and to see the smile on his face when he came and let us know that he has an, um, that he had to offer was great. The workforce development program teaches life skills, soft skills, how to get a job, how to keep a job, how to get promoted and how to remain marketable. They also offer incentives and even provide wardrobe assistance. To see people go from walking in to having, you know, down, you know, lack of hope and to see their whole demeanor change after going through our class, after getting the interviews and after getting hired has been tremendous. In this case, everyone is impressed with how determined Johnson has been to make the transition. I just admire his tenacity to just want to come back in this community and make something of himself. Day one is tomorrow on the job here. We'll have a link at Fox 2 now with more information about that uh, program. Uh, the uh, program also launching an app beginning tomorrow. Reporting live from Delwood, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.